There's going to be a visible supernova within a year. What's a cool space fact the public doesn't know about? If you were to exceed light speed, math tells us the speed at which you move through time must continue dropping. Since we are already at zero, our speed through time must therefore go into the negative, or, backward in time. Probably the fact that you wouldn't just suffocate in a vacuum. The liquid would literally boil from your tongue and eyes. You cannot have space without time nor time without space. Space and time are aspects of the single construct called, space-time. That disturbing fact blows me away. Current numbers are 100 to 400 billion stars in the Milky Way. Our neighbor galaxy Andromeda has about 1 trillion stars. Biggest galaxy observed so far is estimated at 100 trillion stars. Educated guess is almost all stars have planets. Humans went from monkeys to internet builders in approx 200.000 years. While the universe is 13 billion years old. Plenty of time for evolution. After trillions upon trillions of years, only black holes will remain. There will be no light left in the universe. What little light there might be won't be visible, because eventually space itself will be expanding so fast that it exceeds the speed of light, at least we believe. Well if you're freaked out by potential alien life, there's approximately 300 million habitable planets just in our Milky Way galaxy. Given there are hundreds of billions of galaxies, statistically there must be aliens, intelligent life, out there somewhere. False vacuum decay. It could be the vacuum of space isn't in its lowest possible energy state. If it falls to the lowest level somewhere, the change would propagate everywhere at light speed, destroying everything on its way. There is no way to detect the coming bubble of annihilation, and it will keep on growing forever. When you look up at the stars, most of the light you see was emitted hundreds of years ago. With an amateur telescope you can see galaxies whose light was emitted while the dinosaurs were around. Space. The final frontier. Vacuum in space will make your blood boil. Not from heat but from negative pressure. Radiation in space will kill you. There are things like gamma ray bursts which will strip all living things from surfaces of planets many light years in all directions when really really big stars go hypernova. No sound waves can travel through space so no one can hear you scream. Micro meteors traveling several kilometers per second. Undetectable. Unpredictable will make a hole through current generation spacecraft with ease either leaving you with a hole in your craft and the prospect of suffocation or just simply a hole through you. Lack of atmosphere allows almost mass less particles to pass right through your body. Too small to notice unless they happen to hit your optic nerve in which case you see a flash, long-term effects not documented. Your muscles will atrophy without gravity and leave your muscles weak and bones brittle. Solar flares might cook you, irradiate you or simply fry any electronics and leave you stranded in a metal tomb drifting through space. Were you to enter the event horizon of a black hole where time acts differently you would be stretched out like spaghetti while your grandchildren and many generations of descendants can only watch as. You desperately struggle against the inevitable. Rogue planets drifting through the void might enter the solar system causing havoc or in the worst case extinction of the human race much like asteroids or comets. The list goes on and on. Then there are the unknowns like aliens, the great filter, false vacuum theory etc. Space is basically horrible. Truly extremely horrible. I still want to go though and the human race will have to or it will die eventually. I think maybe the scariest thing would be that we might be alone. Or maybe. It is that we might not be. Hard to decide which one is worse. It's big. 
You just won't believe how vastly, hugely, mind-bogglingly big it is. I mean, you may think it's a long way down the road to the chemists, but that's just peanuts to space. Instead of looking up into the sky, you are actually gazing down into the infinite cosmic abyss, with only gravity holding you to the surface of the Earth. Somebody. Gamma ray burst in the Milky Way pointed at us, impossible to see coming, impossible to stop. Could destroy all life on the planet. Very, very unlikely. Humanity is more likely to die from an asteroid or comet. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing. It helps a lot.